Hi Cancers, welcome to your reading guys. We are doing a no contact reading. Yeah, you got blocked, somebody disappeared, ghosted, whatever. They didn't give you an explanation, didn't say anything, won't talk to you now. Or they could have given you an explanation, but you feel like it was lame. And that it was invalid. And that it wasn't truthful. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, we are not going to pull out the, the tarot, go in depth on anything, because I really don't feel like we should be focusing in too much on someone that is running from our life, you know, trying to get away from us. We shouldn't be focusing in on, on that. But I do understand a lot of times we do need more closure, more of an understanding of what really happened in the connection so that we can move on ourself mm -hmm. we're going to be using message decks i'm using my ghosted rz oracles ghosted deck both sides of it we're going to get explanations here we're going to get a confession here then i will pull some advice from your higher self your spirit guides and your guardians let's jump in guys let's see whose energy is going to come in the strongest for my cancers this week y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person and the connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out, see if I picked up the energy there. Reminder, guys, listen. The reading should give you confirmation of what you already suspect and know about the person and the connection. Yes. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is coming in. The strongest for my cancers this week. Strongest energy forward, please. Talk to us. Let's find out what was the real thoughts, the real feelings about the connection. Talk to us. Talk. Pop, 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 pop. That one don't want to let go of me. And then we got two. We'll take it. My friends and lifestyle pulled me away. There's not much room in my life for heavy relationships. Don't take it personally. I'm just not ready to sacrifice all I would have to give up to be in a committed relationship. Ow, right there tells us, guys, this person is just not ready for any kind of commitment, seriousness, and to settle down. Lifestyle and friends. Let's see why they haven't really talking to, talked to us or are not willing to connect and talk with us. Let's see what's been holding them back from that. I'm emotionally attached to someone else that I can't get over. I didn't know how to tell you. Oh, mm, okay. So they're holding out. Not only do they have a lifestyle <laughs> that doesn't want them to settle down, but they're also holding out for someone else that probably does not want them. Mm. Hold the energy on this deck. Let's get a confession. Let's get a present moment confession. Anything they would like to confess about the connection with you and their self. Anything at all. It's for my cancers. My cancers. Pop. Confession. Honestly, it is one of one of those. It's not you. It's me instances. I'm my ghosting was unintentional. It's all me. They're taking a the blame for it, guys. It's not you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's jump into the message decks. We're using all things intuitive deck in the shadows. Let's see what they want to say. Talk to us. Cancer's person. Anything? Pop, pop, pop. You didn't imagine it. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. You're so easy to see through. Guys, there's something about that one. This ping and ping, it pings. This, they're not saying something sarcastic or bad. They're saying something more in 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 alignment of. You're so honest. You're so honest. Ooh, transparent. You do, you don't hide things. That was something they really admired. Made them uncomfortable at the same time. Anything else? Anything else you need to say? Say. See. Say. I understand you better now. Mm -hmm. 
keep going on. Is there anything else? Anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm not coming back. Mm. I got the deck upside down. Let me switch it because my OCD will get to me. I feel like I'm throwing shade. You can't come with me. What did you want from me? One more here. Uh oh. I wish you would come back. Mm. Is there anything else in this deck? Anything else? Mm. I was careless with you. Uh oh. Ooh, can we feel it coming, guys? One more here. I never want to feel that way again. I was careless with you. You see how the energy shifted, guys. They were so firm in, in standing in their choice. But all of a sudden, yeah, in that one, the fact that they admired something really beautiful, found something very beautiful about you, your authenticness. Let's switch them off on decks. So we're going to use uh, Victoria's Love Oracles. This is the small ones. Hopefully, I can get them to focus for us in the camera. It is the shadow side of the deck, though. It's my cancers. My cancers person. Talk to us. Talk. Mm, pop. I'm depressed. I'm spying on you. Trying to watch from a distance or either asking about you. I ran away. Oh, why did you leave? Why did you leave? What are they talking about? I'm not sure they're talking about your connection. I'm spying on you. I ran away. Why did you leave? What else? Sorry for the way I handled things. Hmm. Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm getting lost in the memories. And... I am emotionally unavailable. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised that this one comes that came out because a lot of times this one, I'm depressed, and that one comes together. Hold the energy on the deck, guys. Let's go ahead and tap into your higher self, your spirit guides, and your guardians. Let's get a little bit of advice. We're going to use the Cosmic Journey Oracles. Let's get advice for my cancers when it comes to this person. And what they need right now when it comes to this connection and this person. It's for my cancers. My cancers. Advice for them right now. Bring it out for us. Bring it out what they need. Pop. Each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. Ooh. That's profound, guys. Give up who you think you are. The way I'm taking it is, what do you think you're worthy of and not worthy of? What you're deserving of, don't settle for less. You know, well, some of us may be holding ourselves in a lesser light of allowing somebody to play with us on an emotional level. Next one. Momento mori. There might be not be a someday do not put off your happiness like i said cancers just these two two cards coming together your higher self your guides and the guardians are telling you don't be sacrificing and settling the willingness to settle out of fear out of loneliness or something like that you know your reasons that's what's holding back who's supposed to come into your life. So, and like I said, we picked up this person's energy, shifted into getting lost in the memories and then remembering something very beautiful about you. Do not be surprised if they come knocking at the door. You need to know ahead of time. You need to get clear with yourself ahead of time. Do you want to answer the door when they come knocking? Because everything is insinuating that they may reach out reach out to you because they're having desirous thoughts and feelings towards you right now. Our next deck, we are using Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Speak is one. It's the higher perspective. I'm going to tap into your higher self and this person's higher self. Let's see what something that you both know 
about yourselves and each other that's alike, that's in common. This requires us to put aside any hurt feelings, any resentment, any anger, any self-criticism, just to put aside everything and relax into it was a human experience. What do we have in likeness? What do we know that is alike? Cancer. Ooh, pop. Stand in your power. And I shall stand in mine. Release victimhood on every level. Take take power back into your life. That's something from your higher self and their higher self. Is something you both agree on. Release victimhood on every level. Be empowered with the choices you make, guys. And like I told you, this person does have good, fond Memories of you, and there is something about uh, the aspect of you being transparent and honest with them that they are very drawn to, very drawn to. So they may want to reach back out to you, but it may not last. May not last. Those feelings may not last for long. So yeah. Ooh, cancers make wise choices, guys. I hope. This was a little bit helpful. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.